What is up everyone? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to properly set up GeForce Experience so it doesn't cause lagging game and so it doesn't in the future update your drivers randomly and cause a lot of stuttering and FPS drops with newer drivers. Now, in order to do this, obviously just install GeForce Experience, preferably from scratch, just so we get the screen right here. Now, once you've done that and you're on the screen, all you want to do is uncheck automatically optimize newly added games and applications. And why you want to do this is because every game is going to basically recognize in GeForce Experience is going to try to optimize it and it's going to mess up with the NVIDIA settings a little bit. So we don't want that to happen because if you watch my other video on the best NVIDIA settings, you want those to be the same. So uncheck this, press skip, and then we're going to click settings at the top right. And then we're going to make sure that desktop notifications, GeForce driver update is unchecked. Same thing with reward and make sure downloads right here is unchecked. We don't want it downloading drivers randomly while we're gaming and updating it randomly because not every new driver is the best for gaming for your game. If you are on a newer game that needs a newer driver, then it's fine. But if you're just playing like a normal game that has been out for a while, you don't need a new driver every time it comes out. So image scaling, obviously to turn this off. We don't want this on. And then we're going to go to games and apps and make sure optimal playable settings is unchecked right here. And then scan location, we're going to remove everything in here. We don't want it scanning randomly and using resources to scan for our games on our hard disks, SSDs and stuff like that. And shield, just make sure this is off. Now we're going to get to general again. We're going to make sure enable experimental features is unchecked. And then we're going to click in game overlay and click settings. And then we're going to go to broadcast live turn this off then we're going to go to highlights turn this off and then we're going to go to photo mode slash game filter turn this off and then we're going to scroll down and make sure under privacy control desktop capture is off this setting right here introduces tremendous amounts of input lag and it's pretty noticeable but if you want to use this for whatever reason you can but again it tr it's just not worth it for the amount of input lag it introduces so make sure this is off and then we're going to go back and then we're going to just set up our notifications and make sure that basically all of them that we we don't need our off so basically highlights we could turn this off right here and then instant replay we could keep this on and then broadcasting we're going to turn this off i'm going to turn off the gallery some of them the saved and then photo mode turn this off and then game overlay could be also turn this off and then go back now hed layout make sure this is set to off right here i'm going to go back and keyboard shortcuts just set this to whatever you want i'm going to go back and then we'll go to recordings make sure this is saved on the folder that you actually want it to save at so for me temporary files you want to ignore this just leave this alone videos is actually where you want to change the folder where the clips are going to be saved to so for me it looks fine so i'm gonna keep it at that and then i'm gonna go to audio and then I'm going to make sure my microphone is selected and its volume is up and then there's no boost. And I'm going to go back and then I'm going to scroll down, go to video capture. And now this is very important. Bitrate, I'd set at 50. I try lowering it. Lower you go, the worse it'll be, the less smooth the video will be, but it'll be less space taken up by the videos. So if you're on 50, it's going to pile up the clips very fast. They're going to turn into gigabytes. I've seen people with 300 gigabytes of clips and they didn't even know it was taking up that much space. So lower this, I'd say like probably 30 is fine. So I'm going to be sending it to 30 and then 60 FPS fps keep that unless you're on a really bad gpu that can't really handle 60 fps you want to change this to 30 and resolution just make sure this is end game and then quality obviously it's going to just be custom and then instant replay length the lower you go the less memory it's going to use the less resources it's going to use but the higher you go it's going to use more so for me i'd say the sweet spot is about 30 seconds See, and it kind of calculates how much space is going to take up for you. So 30 seconds on this bit rate is about to be 100 megabytes, but versus 50 to 200. So it's going to pile up really quickly, depending on the amount of time and depending on clips amount that you're going to be clipping. So make sure that bit rate, play around with that, see which one you like. 30 or 50 is perfectly fine. But again, it's going to take up a lot of space if you're going to go anything above 50. 30 seconds is fine for me. I'm going to go back. I'm going to scroll down and then go to performance monitoring and make sure this is off. Now we're going to be done and then instant replay. This is actually how you clip. So we're going to turn this on. And then now whenever you hop in the game, you could press the shortcut key for instant replay, which you could change right here. As you can see, save the last 0.5 minutes recorded. That's just the instant replay key. So you could change this to whatever you want. And then once you're in game, you could press the button to clip things depending on how long you chose. So make sure that's on. That's pretty much it for setting up GeForce Experience. If you like this video, comment down below what I should do next. And a like and subscribe and follow for more. Thank you guys for watching.